show, we will be talking with an international student who has traveled thousands of miles away from her home country to study here in the United States. We will be hearing a little bit about her story and what it's like to live here in the United States as an international student. A lot of people don't take the time to appreciate the fact that their friends and family, for the most part, are within driving distance away. You know, the international students can't just get in their cars and drive across the ocean to see their loved ones. For many of us, I'm sure that there is at least one international student in one of our classes. Um, maybe before or after class starts, um, you can get to know their story, make it known that you appreciate what they're doing. They're trying to better themselves just as we all are. There's a wonderful um, Oprah Winfrey quote that I'd like to share with you. Education is the key to unlocking the world, a passport to freedom. If you really think about those words, I, th I think it's very true. If you're educated and you have your mind set on the right goals, there really is not much you can accomplish. We have to take a quick little break, and when we come back, our first guest will be on with me. We'll be right back. Half of all college students refuse to drink this month. Forty percent of college students say they got into an argument while drinking. Come on, I'll bring you home. And welcome back. Um, I have our first guest with us here now, Ye Jin. Hello. <laughs> Did I pronounce your name right? Yep. OK, perfect. <laughs> yeah. How are you today? Good, and you? I'm doing very well, thank you. Thank you so much for being on the show today. It's my pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. So what country are you from? Oh, I'm from Cheongju in South Korea. Oh, South Korea, OK. Yeah. Are you enjoying your time here in America? Yeah, I love America a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, what made it, what was your final, like what made you choose that you wanted to come to America and study? Mm. Actually, in Korea, we are just focused on the book, like mm -hmm. lecture. So, but I'm not good at like studying through the book. So, I think I need to like touch the equipment and go to the workplace and exp experience. Mm -hmm. So that is why I am here. And I think I have, oh, that was a good choice. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm sure that you had looked at um, hundreds of schools before choosing a specific one. What was it that really made you choose to come to Fulton Montgomery Community College? Uh, first, I heard the SUNY about SUNY, and everyone says SUNY is very good brand in America. Yep. So I started to looking for in SUNY, and I saw this TV studio in the FMCC website, and that was so cool, and it is really attractive for me, and. I said to my parents, this is exactly what I want. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I applied here, and I'm here. <laughs> well, we're, we are very glad that you're here. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you have any plans for after your, your two years here at Fulton Montgomery? Yes, I want to transfer to the four years college and get a bachelor degree. Yep. And like, if I can, I want to get a job in here. But that is depends. <laughs> Now, do you find the education to be easier or harder here in America? 
Uh, of course, it is harder because I need to study in English, and English is not my native language. But I'm sure I'm happier than in Korea because I'm going to my dream, you know, like. <laughs> Well, let's take a little time and let's talk about your family. Okay. Um, how did your family handle your coming to the United States? Actually, the first time they didn't accept to came here uh, to come here because I always stay with my parents for twenty years, and I'm not cook. I'm not good at cooking and. Actually, everything is my parents do everything for me, so they really worried about me. But I keep asking to them what I really want to do, and I say to benefit of studying abroad. Mm -hmm. And finally, they accepted. Now, being so far away from home, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine how much you miss your family. Actually, <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> no, no, I'm not. I don't miss my family that much. Oh, you don't? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> but like, in holiday, like New Year's Day and Thanksgiving Day, usually in Korea, all relatives gather in one house and like play game and eat a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And like yesterday was New Year's Day in Korea, so I miss them. Yeah. Uh, that day, you know. <laughs> so now, when you are missing your family, um, how do you keep in touch with them? Do you have a Facebook or do you Skype? How do you communicate with them? Um, I using a Facebook because my our family has a Facebook, but we have a Korean application like Skype. Okay. We can yeah video call or. Like voice talk, we can do everything. So actually, I can not feel distance between them. Maybe that is why I don't miss them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any brothers and sisters in Korea? Yeah, I have three sisters. Oh, wow, three yeah. sisters. Are you an older sister or a younger sister? I'm a second. Oh, you're, yeah. so you're the second oldest. Do, do, you, do you know, does any of your family in Korea do they want to come study in America? Uh, I want to recommend to my younger sisters because I really love America. Mm -hmm. And like my older sister is in Europe. She already graduated in uh, university in high school, no, in Italy. <laughs> and now she is in Ireland to study English. But maybe. Actually, yesterday I called with my younger sister, and they just say they want to stay in Korea because yeah. they think it is really hard for them. But if I have like earning money after earning money, I want to support them to study abroad. Yeah. So you would re you would recommend it? Yeah, it is really cool. I'm and sure it's a wonderful experience. Yeah, that's true. So Yejin, what is I know this is going to be a hard question, but what is one of your favorite things about America? It's not that hard. I can, yeah, I can answer easily because I love American people. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to be a producer, so I think it is really important to meet a new and like many kinds of people. And in America, there are a lot of people, and they accept the difference. So I love that atmosphere. They are always friendly, mm -hmm. and they ask me something about Korea. And at the first time, I feel like I'm I'm a little bit scared for them because like suddenly stranger asks some question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is weird to me, but now I'm really happy to meet them. Mm -hmm. So I know that you have to speak English. Every day now. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that that must be difficult for you. I mean English is a hard language. It is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is hard. Yep. Really hard. Like I have some word problem, vocabulary problem, you know, and 
Even though I study hard, still I didn't get it some word. But if I try best, I will be fine. So I have a little quick activity for us to do. Um, I was wondering if you could teach me how to say one word in Korean. Mm -hmm. and since we're doing a live broadcast, how do you say broadcast in Korean? It's pangsong. Pangsong. Yeah. Oh, you're good. Hey, thank you. <laughs> I'll be speaking Korean by next week. OK. <laughs> well, Yejin, thank you so much for being on the show today. We, we appreciate it. You're and welcome. we hope that you continue to enjoy your time here in America. Thank you. <laughs> of all college students <laughs> refused to drink this month. Forty percent of college students say they got into an argument while drinking. Come on, I'll bring you home. And welcome back. I uh, just want to thank you again for watching today, and we hope that you join us next time. Um, before we go, I just want to end you with a little quote that might help you throughout your day. And remember to give someone a smile. Um, it's one of the things that is still free in this world, and its effects can last a lifetime. Thank you so much for watching.